Hello and welcome to the Blubber Plays, our Sudanese expedition series here in EU4, Rights of Men. At the moment we are colonising like crazy. Let there be colonies. We're coming across to Fernando Po. And we should be fabricating then on Benin. Now, I realise that I can threaten war for this across the break. Ha! Uh, Core this and then go to war later, and that way he is actually vassalizable, even if we don't co-belligerent him when we go to war with Benin. Which seems like something I would want to do. Speed up. Come on, I want to land on Fernando Po. Go, 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 go. I don't care about Corchinian war taxes. <clears throat> Smush. Very good. Speed down. Now, what I do care about is making this zone a full state. Core, core, core. Give it all to the merchants because they are very high production provinces, slash trade power provinces. I can't push it to Sevilla though, which is about the only thing that we're sad about. <coughs> now, we can look at all these. This is really high. How long until we can ask for that? Three years. So we'll ask for money in the meantime and then it will tick up. And okay, so I want to wait till I get my prestige up before doing all that. Come on, exploration. Thank you. Oh, and it started raining. Not in a noisy, annoying, violent way, in a sort of peaceful, calming way. Uh, no attacks at the moment. And it looks bad that we've got so many colonies, but two of them are about to finish. So, what we could do is say, stop that one, you now live here. Oh, did Benin catch me? They did. Oops. So do I want to become the leader of Ivory? What does Ivory do again? If you're the leader in it. Ivory. Diplo rep. I could want to be the... I, I, I like diplo rep. I could use some more diplo rep. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Now I can claim Benin. The other two aren't so much worth fabricating on. <clears throat> Although extra siege speed would be valuable. How much extra force limit do I have? Three. One, two, three. Use it up. Finish off Alaska. He's nearly done. Split, split, 
and then move two more because we're going to build three. Lose press. No. No. I'm going to be attacking Sunnies. But I don't particularly need it to convert what I've got, so... Maybe we just bite the bullet and we go pie this now. We buy this now, then we don't mind losing prestige. And we don't mind doing all this tech stuff. Oh. Anyway, hit that button. Hit that button. <clears throat> get the new types of infantry, get the new cavalry, get the new cannons, get the new whatever we can get the new of. <laughs> Very good. Havana finishes. Never tariff. Never. So that one, that one, that one. We won't even be over the limit. Yoink, yoink. Actually, one should move back. Now, how much of this do you think is definitely yours? All of it. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, Ottomans, I agree to letting everything be yours. Uh... Now he's under... Yeah, so I don't really need to claim anything there. I just want that to finish coring first. So that we don't have it paused while we're at war. I was wondering when that exploration exploration was going to finish. We'll be able to see Cape Coast. Okay, that one's important, that one's important, that one is the least important. So that can become Puerto Rico. One, two, three, four, five. So that one's going to become a colonial nation soon. And this colonial nation's about to give me an extra merchant. <clears throat> Onwards. Now... We can. I need to get 34. So 35. That gets me 20. And that gets me 15. Which one lasts longer? Does one last a shorter time? That one lasts 30 years. That one only lasts 15. So that's the more appropriate one to do even if we just throw away all these new units. Wow, those are actually quite nice. But, I don't need to do any more exploring. Yeah, so we throw away all of these guys because they're worse than the real generals. Tell these guys to come back home. Oh, and we didn't actually use the button click. So we did all this with the intention of zoop, gaining some more mill points. Oh, good, good, good.
Now, we wait for this core to finish, then we go to war with Benin. Oh, exploration. Yoink. Yes. I'm a little worried about how old our replacement king is getting. I need some more rivals. Mamluks are no longer worth my time. Uh, I don't want any of those though. I suppose I find Portugal the least annoying. Finish off. We want to hear those trumpets. Exploration complete. And we can go get Cape. Cape is a pretty valuable province. We'll probably do that after Fernando Po. He's got rebel problems. There we go, even more settler chance. Conquer Abomi. Conquer where? A Bo. Oh, well, sure, if you're going to give me a free claim. So, Ijibu. Then we take that mission, and we have two extra free... well, two extra claims. Oh, it looks like we can go pick up that army. Soon. Yeah, they might arrive at about the same time. Exploration. Go find out about that little bit of coast, maybe up here. <clears throat> yeah, look at all these bonuses. 20, 20, 10. 10, 25, boom. core finished. I'm willing to actually call this back and send them to Jamaica. And to send these boats to where we can pick those up from a bit closer. Actually we can probably even click them up closer there. Yoink. Convert it. Come on. Now hop on the boats. And then come across to help us with destroying these Africans. <clears throat> okay. Oh, and he's at war? Why? He's attacking Kong. Fair enough now would seem to be an appropriate time to strike. Abricane on Ijibu. Take the mission. Oh, it got rid of my... Boo! Boo! 
I wanted extra free claim. And I want to vassalize him. Can I? Yeah, so that's fine. In fact, we'll probably call that back. None of his allies will join. That's actually slightly annoying. Because I wanted him to honour. Whereas if I try and declare on him directly, then all these other guys that are allied here and protectoring him will join in. Oh no. Wrong one. You. So, we say, Benin, eat, destroy. He has just the one castle. He has nowhere near enough troops to be a threat to anything more than half of my stacks. The Emperor did a reform? Gosh, two reforms. Ducats. Who doesn't like ducats? You can never have too many ducats. Not like grain. Rival of our rival, Brittany. Sure, something to do with our otherwise mostly useless diplomats. I will go get that claim. I might just eat them directly at this rate. Merchant. So, at the moment that's completely going to Sevilla. So is this. So it doesn't matter where I push. So I will push. I don't know. I guess this one will do for the moment. Yeah, no, I'd rather not do it that way. Oh, exploring, explore, explore. I need to get another Master of Mint. I'm not allowed one. I'm allowed that. I should have let it tick down a while first. Still it goes away in two years? Two of them go, one goes away in one year and one goes away in two years. So, we're okay, just. And this time I don't make that mistake again. Oops, uh, production efficiency please. Zapfery? Uh, 
Oh my god, Teutonics, what have you done? Ah, you're allied to Muscovy. And Brandenburg somehow, even though you should hate each other. Wow, good for you. Please don't stop loving me. <laughs> Can we make sure that you, not yet, love us? Also, oh, it's saying I haven't raised this fort. Yeah, fine, we're at war. Why not? Well, actually, because we haven't needed it is the answer. As long as I cut off the coast so that the these guys can't take anything inland, I'm not too worried. Yoink, go explore Caribbean. Okay, here we go. So I've got a chance to lower their authority now. So I side with the non-Ulima. Oh. Yeah, I side with the non-Lima, so the Merchant Guilds lose influence. Boom. I wish I could do something that spends your stuff down, but... This is still a ways away. I could... How long does it last? 33, and this one? 38. And I would like to do Recruited Minister, I imagine. Yeah, I've got inflation, so I actually wait and I just do a Recruited Minister. Oh. Oops. I mean, I don't want my army fighting, my transports fighting their slightly more real ships. But I will need to peace out. We'll go back to improving with you, Brittany, for the mission. Don't worry. We still love you, Brittany. We're not going to leave you alone. There we go. Yoink. Yum. Yum. Now, how much would it cost to full eat him? That is more than I'm willing to pay, let's be honest. So I will pay for these two, and that's it. Or... Hmm. If I click the Vassalize button now, it says it will cost nine. And if I unclick these... No, it doesn't trick it. It just hasn't updated how much it costs here. So 150 versus... a hundred. Like, why would I want to vassalize them in that case? How much are the ones that I'm going to border then worth? There is a 10. No, I think that's fine. And we'll also steal his money and his money. I do not want any castles over here. And with that, we call it an episode. 
So, thank you for joining us. This has been The Blobber with our Sudanese expedition series in EU4 Rights of Man. I hope you've enjoyed watching and that you will join us again soon. Bye-bye.